So this is the vlog for March 4th, uh, 2018, and um, I, I'm not in the frame. I'm also zoomed in a little more than usual. It's fine. So uh, my father, who's a genius, had an excellent idea tonight, and he said, let's go down to the ale house. I'm going to record the... Academy Awards, and then we'll go back home after we've had dinner, and we'll be able to skip through all the commercials. And we went to the Ale House, which only ever serves sports, so we didn't have to uh, worry about being spoiled. And I had a beer, and then I had another beer, and even though I am a 260-pound, 5'10 white male, uh, I have the alcohol tolerance of a 16-year-old girl. So, I, I'm not actually drunk right now. I'm just a little tipsy. But I am a little tipsy. I'm not gonna I'm gonna not gonna mince words. You will be able to tell this by the slightly slurred speech from which I will be speaking. Uh, and the fact that I'm a little bit tired, and also they are yelling at me to come downstairs quickly because they want to start as soon as they can, even though they're both geriatric old people and they're gonna both need to use the bathroom within like 30 seconds. Wow, I am really like feeling it uh, because I'm talking about my parents. I'm talking mad smack about my parents. Do people say mad smack? I am throwing shade upon my parents. That's what I'm doing. Um, you can always tell when it's become unfashionable if your parents start saying it. And I think my dad said something like uh, talking mad shit about somebody the other day. No, I don't, I don't think he said that. He said something that I used to think was cool. Anyway, um, the ale house near where we live is uh, it's a great place. It's the uh, Sammamish Ale House, something ale house. I live in the city of Sammamish, which is near Redmond, which is where uh, my work is. And, um, um, I had a, the Beaver Lake Caesar salad, which is a, a salad with uh, breaded chicken and bacon. So it's like a 2,000 calorie salad, which is hilarious. <laughs> Romaine lettuce with slathered in Caesar dressing and then uh, Parmesan cheese sprinkled on that. And then the chicken and the bacon added on top. It, calling it a salad is a joke, but it's a delicious joke and I love it. And then I had two beers. I had a beer that was a Boneyard Pilsner. Um, Palo Pils, I think is what they call it. Uh, Boneyard, definitely. I mean, if you like drinking, Boneyard is great. They make, they make great beers. I think it's Boneyard makes the Hop Venom, which is like... I don't really like hoppy beer, and this Pilsner is a little hoppy, which is weird for a Pilsner, I think. Maybe not. I don't know beers as well as some of my beer-drinking friends. Uh, but it was... It had... It, it waited longer to have an aftertaste than I'm used to, but it still had a little bit of a hoppy aftertaste. The thing that my dad had that I then had a, a glass of myself was the Moose Drool. Yes, Big Sky Moose Drool. Uh, double thumbs up. Double. I haven't explained my wrist thing on one of these yet. I'll do that some other time when I need... Well, I need another minute and 15 seconds of material to hit five minutes. Uh, so maybe I'll just do it now. So... Um, for those of you at home, most of you will be able to pass this test. Hold out your hands like this. Hold out your hands. Now turn your palm upward. Turn your palms upward, I should say. Turn both of them upward. Like this. Like this. Do that with both of your hands. I can't do that. I can do it with one hand, but my left, this is my left. Um, because right now it's on my left on the screen, but it gets flipped because of the way cameras work. I'm not drunk. Only tipsy. <laughs> I'm going to have to tag this with like drunk and then tag it with I'm not really drunk, I'm just tipsy. Um, the bone in my wrist, this is my wrist, the bone in my wrist is fused to the bone in my forearm, which prevents me from turning my, my hand all the way around. And my dad, I love my dad, I love my parents both to death. When I was like three or four years old, my dad said, here, hold out your hands, I'll, I'll hand this to you. He had like something he was giving me, like candy or something. So I, so I did this. I did this. And he said, no, no, both palms upwards. I said, what do you mean? 
Because I just, I, you know, I was four years old at the time. I just assumed everybody had a working right wrist and a left wrist that only went that far. He said, no, no. And he tried to turn my wrist. I, feel, I still laugh at this, even though he, he didn't like it. He, he tried to start turning my wrist. And I went, ow, Dad, I can't, I can't do that. And he stopped, and he was like, and he's like, so you can't turn your, your left wrist palm upward. And, he was like, and I was like, no, I, are you supposed to be able to? And he was like, and then he took me to the doctor and had an x-ray done. I, I remember the x-ray. And uh, that was when they found out that I had a birth defect. It was about the lamest birth defect you could possibly have. Uh, and, and there are people out there who have real problems, who are very much differently abled. And I don't want to rag on them. I'm only ragging on myself because what I have is a birth defect that prevents me from lifting couches, playing volleyball, and doing guitar right-handed. I have to play guitar. I don't play guitar. When I play uh, Guitar Hero or Rock Band, I have to play left-handed. Uh, I usually get the Jimi Hendrix achievement for people. So, yeah, we're going to go watch the Academy Awards. It's, it's five minutes. It's six minutes now. So I'm done. So I'm just going to say... This has been Eric Sporn's vlog for the day I already said. it's Tonight is the Academy Awards. I'm going to go watch them. I don't know who won anything at this point. Uh, and tomorrow will be better and certainly at least more sober.